Welcome back to Azalear Sophie, everybody. Uh, I'm on the main map because that was the easiest way for me to, to save without actually going to have to go to the Atelier because I was worried that if I go back to the Atelier, uh, there will be a scene. Because there are lots of scenes in this. Uh, no, I my fears were for not. Still, uh, I rather would have not taken a chance and then being like, oh no, there was a scene and everybody missed it. Um, important events. Investigate the creepy cabin one. They say at night, people hear strange voices from a cabin that should be empty. Could it be a ghost? Uh, I accepted the request, so I need to go check. Check the cabin at Pilgrim Road at night. Um, Clockta was human in the past, and an alchemist. No wonder she knows so much about alchemy. I might learn some more unexpected things if I keep helping her find more find her memories. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, oh, it's almost night. That works. Uh... Uh, what what exactly if I go to events? Pilgrim Road at night. Oh wait, so Pilgrim Road. Is that on the world map? What's our destination? Yeah, let's go to Pilgrim Road. Investigate the creepy thing. Don't hear anything. This isn't the right cabin. Ah, go away, Pony! Ponies! Ah! I'm getting chased by poonies. It's probably not this one either. Oh, it is this one. This is the place Meister Horst was talking about. Hmm, it's nighttime, but I don't really hear any strange voices. <laughs> Eek! I, I heard it. I really heard it just now. I heard a strange voice from inside the cabin. Uh... I want to go home. But I need to complete the request. I can't just leave without checking. Be brave, Sophie. Just look inside. J just a little peek. <laughs> yes, it's fantastic. These curs, they really are marvelous. What's that? A boy? And a girl? Hmm. I could have made the shoulder blades just a little more apparent. Oh, no. They're dolls. Well, I need to hurry and complete them. I suppose I'll start work on the lower parts tomorrow. I see. So that guy was just talking to himself. I was all scared for nothing. Huh? Who's there? Eek! Eek! A girl? Who are you? Uh, um, I live in the town nearby. People were saying that they heard strange voices from there. From here. Hmm, so you came to investigate. I apologize for that. I assume it was me. My name's Fritz. I'm a traveling doll maker. Fritz. Fritz Weisberg. Or is it Weisberg? Uh, um, I'm Sophie. Sophie, huh? I found this cabin during my travels and started making dolls here. I seem to have a bad habit of talking to myself while I make dolls. I didn't expect to cause such a problem. Ha ha ha, I see. But Fritz, you're really close to town. Why did you decide to stay here? Well, this is embarrassing to say, but I didn't even notice that there was a town nearby. Aha, uh -huh. uh, I see. Then should I tell you where the town is? Sorry about that, it would really help. Okay, I got it, let's see. From here, the town is... I see. Then I'll head to town once I make preparations. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Please be careful on your way. Uh, 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 I'm so glad it wasn't a ghost. Oh, I know. I should tell Meister Horst about Fritz. Yes, you should. Oh, right. I can't use quick travel because I'm in a dungeon, technically. Oh, wait, Poonies. I, I don't want to beat you up. I'm not interested right now. What's our destination? Um, more for now, home. Yes. Hello, Sophie. Oh, Sir Julio. <laughs> I just happened to have some business nearby, so I figured I'd drop by for a chat. 
Sophie, are you home? We've come for a visit. Hey, Oscar, you need to knock before you barge into people's houses. Monica, Oscar, why are you both here? No particular reason, but Oscar said... Oh, hello, Sir Julio. Hello, Monica, Oscar. You seem to be doing well today. The Atelier's quite lively now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. This is the perfect chance to talk to you all about something. Oh? About what? It's about Plopta. She just recently remembered an amazing memory. Hmm. What kind of memory? A good one. <laughs> You're going to be shocked. It turns out... Plopta used to be human! What? Is that true? Plopta wasn't always a book? It's seriously possible for a human to turn into a book? Apparently. Even something like that is possible. It seems alchemy is more profound than I imagined. <laughs> I figured this was important, so I thought I'd tell you all. That means everyone needs to treat Plopta properly, like a human <laughs> being. <laughs> I think I've been doing that from the start. Yes. I always considered Plakta like a friend. Oh, this and is horrible. Her as such. Yeah, same here. It doesn't matter if she's a person or a book. Plakta is Plakta. Sophie, I think you accidentally implicated yourself in something. Now that you mention it, you're right. Isn't that great, Plakta? Yes, I was concerned about how they would react. Anyway, since everyone's here, we should have tea and snacks. Do you have time? Is it really okay for me to be here as well? Of course. No problems at all here. I was waiting for this. That's actually what Oscar came here for. <laughs> I'll go get everything ready. Just wait a little while. I just feel bad that Cory's not here. Everyone had fun talking, including Plokta. I thought Sophie had accidentally... Oh, wait, I'll hold on. That was fun. Yes, it's been a while since I talked that much. It seemed like everyone had more questions than usual. They might have said things like that before, but it seems like the fact that you used to be human was a big deal. That may be so. Although, I feel sorry that I couldn't answer most of their questions. Yeah, I hope all your memories come back soon. Yes, I hope so too. I'll do my best to make that happen. I just thought Sophie had accidentally implicated herself and in, in, you know, someone who wasn't treating her like a human. But they didn't take it that route. What and I'm fine with make? that. But it's just funny. Um, while I'm hmm, here. What, to make? what was I thinking about? I was thinking of making cloth. What materials to like use? better cloth. Cloth that has stuff that I can put on armor cloth. Um, Attack enhance and speed enhance. I like that. Uh, the other one doesn't really matter though. Um, I did hear something that, that quality does matter. So. Top class, huge thingy the bopper. Well, I began. Oh, my sorry. I was trying to get the idea is because quality matters for this. It's kind of like, all right, well, if quality matters, then why not use some of these higher, these good quality things? Because the rest of the stats don't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what I do with this because it's not going to change anything. Because those are all nuns without meters. Uh, attack speed enhance, really okay? please. All right, it's done. Uh, let's see. Um, it's container. Uh, synthesis. There we go. Uh, cloth. That's what I meant to do. So this can go on weapons or accessories. That's what I was curious about. Okay, so now let's go into the town.
to the street to the blacksmith. Uh, craft what weapon. weapon do you want Steel gauntlet. Materials to use? I want a sharpness one, and I want a... Did I want a damage? An uh, eco skill one. And then we're going to use our new attack speed enhance. Craft. The bing, bing, bing. Is this all right? That is perfectly all fine, right. my, my, good, my good man. Turned out well. How's this? I think it's fine. I'll go call Cory. How is it? It's good. Thank you very much. I was always wondering this, but what kind of weapon is that anyway? There's all kinds of stuff <laughs> inside. Oh goodness. Wait, inside? These are trick gauntlets. You can't tell at a glance. They have a lot of power. They're really interesting weapons, since they can take on various effects depending on what's inside of them. Hence the trick. I didn't know. Neither did I. Just let me know if you have any new ideas. I'll try to make it work. Yes. I'll come to you when I think of something. Nice. Um, to the street. To the cafe. Actually, hold on. Hi. I really... I would like to know if you've made... No, you haven't made stuff. Do I not need to make you not part of my party for you to, to register to do stuff? Please. Either that or I literally just haven't been giving her enough time. Um, to the cafe. Meister Horst, I went and investigated the cabin you were talking about. Oh, really? Thank you very much, Sophie. So how did it go? Um, well, you see... Excuse me. Fritz, why are you here? I came to town and happened to see you enter this building. I decided to follow. I see. Uh, Sophie, who is this? Oh, this is Fritz, and he... Blah, 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 yakety schmackety. Yada, yada, yada. I see. So this man is the cause of the uproar. Yeah, I realize I didn't know, but I caused you trouble. Sorry about that. Oh no, we have no intention of blaming you. We simply wanted to find the cause. I'm relieved about that. By the way, Sophie, are there any unoccupied houses in this town? At least one. Unoccupied houses? Hmm, I don't really know. I see. I was actually thinking about staying in this town for a while, but if there's nowhere for me to stay... In that case, I believe there was an unoccupied house in the old town area. Should I try to make arrangements? Really? That would be great. Thanks. I understand. I'll start making preparations. I owe you one. I'll come back when all the preparations are done. See you later. You See you two later. Dollmaker's coming to town. He doesn't seem like a bad person. Yeah, although he's a little strange. <laughs> he's very unique. Anyway, that settles this matter. Sophie, here's your reward. Lots of monies. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Wait, this much? Is it really okay? Yes, I realize I half forced you to go, so I'm compensating you for that as well. Please accept it. Thank you very much. Yes, and good work, Sophie. Darn straight. I do really good work. Speaking of work... Which rec Secret Night Crystals. Night Crystals have a deep color, much like the night, and are very beautiful. I can't tell you why, but I need some Night Crystals. <sighs> I want to eat beehives again. Forest is noisy lately. Always hungry. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I could do Forest is noisy lately. I don't really want to, though. Secret Night Crystals. Um, sure. Hey. What do we have for rumors? I may want to do that. Maybe it's like, I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should just, uh, do, do the I want to eat beehives. Give them a couple beehives. Get some vouchers. Welcome. And then, okay, so, hives abandoned by bees. Bye. Thank you very it seems beehives without any inhabitants were found in the blessed forest. It's a little strange, but there's no fear of being attacked by bees, and they're valued as being easy to handle. Welcome. Uh, so then, forest is noisy lately. We'll take that too, because we're going to go to the blessed forest. Um. Hey, dollmakers over here. Private house. Hey, buddy. Puppets are very delicate. Even the smallest negligence of maintenance can cause them to malfunction. 
We have a new friend. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the world map. Where are we going next? We're going to the Blessed Forest, where all the funny stuff is happening. Where, where apparently there are lots and lots of beehives now, I guess. Oh, interesting. This must be, uh... Because they got special glowing. The ban hive banded by bees has ended. Interesting. Hey, they don't look very strong. I know. We're gonna bop them anyway. Wide open. Why you? We won before I even realized. All right, so we settled both of those. Where are we going next? Um, Rocky Grove, because that's had a little thing on it for a while. What's this? We found something. Found a spring of clean water. The cool water quenches our thirst. HP recovered by 10. Yay. Okay, so apparently there's stuff here, and I'm hoping this is where the water is. I don't know why the water would be here, but something is here for a request. Uh, don't go away. Go away, ghost. I don't want to talk. I don't want to fight you right now. Oh no, this is for those! That makes a lot more sense. I forgot I had that too. Go away, ghosty. Go away, ghosty. Good. I, I want to make good tea can be recorded. Oh, is that a Kaiser pigeon? Maybe that's a Kaiser pigeon. Okay. Okay. Come on, hey. bop him. Hey. Bop him. Yes, it's a Kaiser Pigeon. Let's go on the defensive. Um, Stand back. Oh, I'm still on defensive. I keep forgetting to, to cancel that out every once in a while. Yeah, sure. Ow. Leave it to me. Is everyone uninjured? Uh no, Sophie's a bit injured. Yay! Kaiser Pigeon defeated. Uh, mana feather recipe get. Oh, okay. Just looking. Ah, pony, go away. Alright, so I got the stuff for the good tea, so that's good. I can complete that as well. All right, um, where to? where to indeed? Let's go to... I was really hoping the Com Banks would have had that thing I wanted. How do I get a luminous water then, or whatever it is? Maybe I'll just go to the Forgotten Nursery and gather there for a while in hopes uh -huh. that'll actually... Ten gold. Um, get some more of those stones I wanted, even though I'm not sure I really need them much anymore. Although I know I could use more of that, uh, liquid stuff that I kept throwing out, thinking I didn't use, that didn't need. But I do actually have uses for them now, so... Oh, I know what I can do here. We're gonna go to the back where, where I fled from those guys before, and we're gonna beat them up! Oh, excuse me, bird. Ah, Poonie. I'm beginning to know why they don't like Poonie so much. Oh, there's only Poonie here now. Um, let's see. Oh, now, now they're back. A dangerous opponent. Stay on guard. A flare demon. Let me see something. How many attacks? We only get two in before 
So we'll do defensive. Interesting, that must delay her turn. Let's just go with that. interesting. I guess that that uh, attack causes meteors to fall. Uh, it seems like this jerk face um, attack. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, it would seem like this jerk face is uh, tough against physical attacks, so we're going to start making magic happen. chest with a jacket inside oh you guys really track don't you oh wow that's a lot of stuff excuse me gentlemen I don't feel like fighting more of you right now I only have two empty slots huh It'll be time to go home soon. Well, let's just... Alright, I guess we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll check a few other green dots. First. Ah. Still, it's like I don't know where I got that other stuff. I have never been able to find. I'm gonna have to rewatch my old footage. I think I said that last time too. But damn. What's our destination? Our destination is home. Hey, stuff. Hey, Quakta. Can I ask you a question? What is it? You used to be an alchemist, right? I don't really understand this, but. What exactly is alchemy? Let's see. There are actually several types of alchemy, so it's difficult to generalize. The alchemy you use, and that which I used in the past, is a technique to fulfill the wishes of materials. Huh. The wishes of materials? Yes. This technique listens to the material's desires, and then turns those materials into what they wish to be. That's the alchemy we use. Huh? <laughs> For example, let's say there's a plant that wishes to heal people. Alchemists must first realize that wish. Then, borrowing some power from nature, we give that power to the plant. Interesting. In that way, we help the plant turn into medicine with the power of healing. In other words, alchemists are simply helping to fulfill the wishes of the materials. Sophie, you've been very quiet. Did you understand all of that? I'm sorry, Pakta. I was listening to all of it, but I didn't understand at all. That's okay. To tell the truth, you're actually subconsciously doing exactly what I explained. Really? But I've never heard the wishes of materials or anything. <laughs> I'm sure that's the case. It's not something that you can hear with your ears. Although, it seems some extremely skilled alchemists are able to hear the wishes of materials directly. Regardless, while alchemy does require some concrete theories to function, one's senses are particularly important. You must cherish and hone your senses to the point where you believe you can hear them. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Plakta. Easy to handle. 
Kind of light, X light. Versus the equipment cost of the item by 12. Oh, huh. interesting. Wait time in hands. Increases item power by small amount, proportional to wait time after using item. Huh. Ooh. Nice. Use count minus two. Power's increased. Mr. Gerb, this is a strange plant. It's kind of glowing. That's right. It's a rare type that only grows in very specific places. I bet it's really pretty to see at night. Have I done these? It's a beehive. It looks like there's lots of honey inside. Sometimes there are bees left inside, too, so you need to be careful or you might get hurt. Uh, funny, funny, funny. Um. Ah, this liquid is smoking. Hey, Oscar, don't try drinking it. Why me? I don't want to. It's poisonous. I wouldn't recommend drink, so I wouldn't recommend drinking it. Uh. This gem stone is strange. I kind of get, get the chills just holding it. There seems to be something faintly glowing inside, but it disappears when it's broken, so nobody knows what it is. Uh, is this a pillar from a building? Yes, stone pillars like this can be taken from ruins that dot the region. I wonder what was around here in the past. Uh, have I read this before? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've read that one before. What about this? Uh, yeah, we read that before too. These feathers have a pretty exaggerated name. <laughs> it might say monster, but they aren't that rare or unusual. You can find them on the ground everywhere, and kids play with them a lot. Ah, uh, yes, I know that. Okay, I am sent to container. Mana feather. Um, let me see something. What what are my requests now? Secret night crystals. Looking for more luminous water. Uh, how to make good tea? Forest is noisy lately. Um, let's... Which I'm hungry. Uh, I want to make a tea. Thank you. Colorful puny slaying. <laughs> Blue, green, red. There are many colors of puny, but the main similarity is that there are a huge number of them all. Someone go hunt them before they completely cover the area around town. Oh, goodness. Uh, give me one second, guys. be worth it. 36 days left, huh? I mean, because you kick a butt of enough of them and, and you'll, you'll get plenty of monies. I don't know. Welcome. Rumor. What room? Greatly grown magic grass. Okay, so so I get I get these now. When it says, like, downpour of uni, I thought what it meant was you could just find a lot of that one, one item. But it looks like uh, it means they've got special properties. That's really cool. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. Golden strong thread. Why not? Is that rumor okay? Thank you. It seems an unusual spider was found in the Forgotten Nursery. It spins golden thread. I'm sure that spider's webs are quite beautiful. Welcome. Which um, let's just do it. Uh, let's see. Hello, Leon. Ah, Sophie, I have a little proposition for you. Oh, okay. What is it? Will you go gathering with me sometime? Oh! Gathering? I don't mind. But why it's so sudden? To be honest, there's some materials I want. I was thinking about going to get them, but I think it would be way more efficient if we came if if we went together. 
You need materials for alchemy too, right? It would be better if we both got the stuff we need at the same time. That's true. In that case, I should be the one asking you to come. Alright, then let's go together. Oh, welcome, Leon. Oh, but will you be okay? There's monsters outside of town. Yeah, I'll be fine. I might look like this, but I'm pretty confident about my fighting skills. Huh? Really? That's a little thats a little unexpected. I'm traveling around alone. Of course I'm prepared. A few random, a few random monsters are nothing to me. I'm confident enough to say that I'll be able to protect you, too. Thank you. <laughs> I'll leave the timing up to you. Just let me know when we're going to leave. Okay, I understand. I look forward to it. Well, Neon Get. Um, uh, status. Leon. Uh, scar Needle. Physical damage inflict weak chance high. Soul Step. Increases level. Increases attack power. Uh, for all, air, all allies. Heaven Rose. Physical damage. Reduces level. Wasteless Movement. Passive skill. Reduces weight. Ooh, nice. Lover's Robber. Chain Act. Loot Acquisition Up. Only activates an offense stance. Greatly stabilizes damage variation. Interesting. Uh, what do you use? Uh, what is your equipment? You use a spear. Nice. You're level nine. Wow, you're level nine. Oh well, yeah, I think everybody's level nine right now. Um, neat. It's like I'd be tempted to replace Julio, but Julio's just so ridiculously good. Um, I mean, the only thing he doesn't have is speed. Her defense is average. Her attack is actually above average um, for Leon with her spear. Uh, let's see. What's your skills again? Sorry. So you have uh, enemy single, ally area, enemy single. So you, you also don't have the area of effect attacks like he does. Uh, Leon, we're gonna we're gonna let you leave you be for now, but I will put you in the party eventually. Um, I'm just uh, gonna stick with who I've got for now instead of playing around with things. Um, uh, let's see. Did you dupe anything yet for me? Oh, hi. Welcome. I actually have something to tell you today, Sophie. Ooh. Huh? What is it? Starting next time, when the items you have are running out, I'll refill them for you. Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Wait. Is that really okay? Yes. I'm sure it will help save you time as well. Wow, that sounds convenient. Thank you, Cory. It won't be free, though. <laughs> oh, I knew it. But it would be safer than going out without enough items, and it's still convenient. You can now automatically refill your items at Corneria Shop. Does that mean I can just, like, refill? Yes. Refill uses? Uh, you can choose whether to refill or not using auto-refill. Okay. The price is affected by the item value and number of times used. If set to on, your item use counts will be restored when you return to your atelier from the field. Oh, hell yes. The money required to refill items depends on their quality and number used. If you don't have enough money, refill refilling will be cancelled. Uh, I think I have enough money for now. Items with zero use count left will remain equipped, but removing them will cause them to disappear. Be careful. <gasps> oh, so I can actually use them all up, and then she'll just... <sighs> I'm not refilling items when you get... I understand. I'll start refilling your items. Yes, please. What are... Oh, yay, you have stuff. Gimme, gimme. Are you really okay with this? I am really okay with this. Thank I am really okay with all of this. Girl, you rock. Uh, and yes, I'm okay with this too. You know why? Because now you can help me fill that stuff back up. Please, come again. No, no, please. Please, by all means. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, girl. Um, is this the blacksmith? This is the blacksmith, isn't it? I want to go to the gun shop. I haven't seen uh, Harold in a while. Clock shop. Whatever. Gun shop, clock shop. I'm so bored I'm getting depressed. I guess I'll tinker with another gun. Well, I guess he doesn't want to need any extra help. 
it's funny because it's like I talk to everybody else and it's like, you know, new scene, new scene, new scene. And him, it's <laughs> him. It's like, no, nope, no, nope. uh, I, I, I don't need you right now. Um, well, hey, they look like they're chatting. Thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you. You were most helpful. Hello, Monica, Sir Julio. Ah, Sophie. But controller. Hello, Sophie. What were you two doing? I was having a sword match with Sir Julio. A match? After fighting together, I noticed that Monica has splendid swordplay. I asked her if she would spar with me. I see. After actually sparring with her, I can see that Monica's use of her shield is quite skillful. Thank you very much. However, most people who use quick sword movements, such as yourself, tend to evade rather than use a shield. Why did you decide to use a shield? I'd be fine without one alone, but when I'm fighting alongside everyone, sometimes there's little room to move. I figured that having a shield for those times would offer better protection. Interesting. Why do you choose not to use a shield? Because I have a massive a weapon. Me who doesn't like using shields, but I also stress offensive power. Yeah, because because he say he has a giant sword. If you use a sword that's too light, your attacks may not deal significant damage to certain larger opponents. This sword also makes blocking attacks much easier. True. A sword that large would probably work well. Exactly. Ah, huh. it sounds like swords are pretty complicated. That's right. I need to improve my skills even more. Sir Julio, would you mind sparring with me again sometime? Of course. You're more than welcome anytime. I'll just keep working on my alchemy. Good girl. Good girl, Sophie. You get you get bombs. Bombs are good enough. I'm gonna pause the recording for a sec. I'll be back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um I was pulled away for a little bit. Of course now I can't remember what I was doing. But I'll figure it out. Uh here, let's go talk to uh Pamela. Why not? Hi, Pamela. You found new stuff, huh? I may want another one of these. Thank you. Uh, I need a few more of these because I used them all up. Oh, ooh, area bonus attack boost, huh? Oh, wait, hold on. Effective versus one magical slayer. Um... Sure. Uh, let's see. I think I have a bunch of these already. Come again, okay? I will. I haven't visited Book Girl in a while either. Hi. I have new merchandise. Are you interested? Possibly. Uh. Settle. Feel free to come back anytime. Alright. Um It's always it's always difficult coming back to these I things. My best to refill them. Aw, thank you. You're awesome, girl. Especially since it's like I don't have to worry about using stuff up now. I know one thing I wanted to make more of. Hmm, what to make? Bird what medicine. materials to use? A spirit slayer, magic grass. Uh, since since they're all basically the same ish. Um, these are the same colors, right? Do I have any green liquids? I don't think I do. We'll just use a regular Is water flow good? water for now. This one. Okay, let's start. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. 
I think that's about as good as we're gonna get, really. Um, HP regen XS, yeah. Recovery bonus, HP recovery S, yeah. Because I noted that one of my other ones wasn't so great before. Oh, I didn't have any traits to give it. Oops. What material should I, I don't use? have any. Do, I, do, do any of these have traits? Fixed recovery. Quality up. Fixed stable effect. Recovery up. I mean, I can just do this again, I'm sure. Uh, actually, I could. I should. I should do this. I should you actually. As long as like, you know what? I should actually do that, shouldn't I? Because then that'll guarantee the the, the bonus recovery. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is going great. Yeah, this is going great. Um, actually, hold on. Yeah, this is going great. Um, yes, this is much better. And it'll get the recovery oh, thing, so yay. Now that's something worth duplicating. Uh, equipment, do you have anything on you? You have bird medicine. Do you have bird medicine on you? No, you don't. Let's give you this one. And then I will give you a really good one. Uh, oh, you don't have any at all, so uh, here. Okay, let's save the game real quick. Uh, let's go town map. Or world map. Okay, everyone's oh. here. <laughs> we should get going. Not yet. Oh, wait a minute. There's another person coming. Bubble bum. Did I make you wait? Hello, Leon. Is she who we were waiting for? Yes. Yeah, this is Leon. She's a clothier. Which makes her perfectly suited for adventuring. Ah, it's the pretty girl from the neighborhood. Hi there, fat guy. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, 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 ow, ow, zing. You're the one coming with us? It's good to see you too. Oh, he took that well. To ignore the fact that she called him fat guy. A anyway, moving on. You know her, Oscar? Yeah. She recently opened a shop near my store. I sell all kinds of clothes. So, you should take a look sometime. I will. Thank you. All right. With that settled, let's go. Where are we going next? Um I want to go back here, because I never went to that second area. It's like there's so many places with the, with the scrolls, because there's just, there's poonies everywhere. See? Poonie. Okay. Sorry, poonies. Eventually, we'll get red ones. Alright, I know I fought one of those before. That seems to be a new one. Ah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, go away, please. What were those? Oh, pretty shells. Actually, I'm curious. What do pretty shells count as? Gems and mis medicine materials, huh? Oh, wait, there's another area beyond this one? Can I get this without you attacking me? Is a liquid and it's good water. Um, no, 
Whoops. Oh, Beach of Meetings. The Beach of Meetings. Must be where the annual Seagull Conference is held. That is just such an awesome move. I understand. We won before I even realized it. Some water, some shells. Some blue rocks. Hey! Some poonies. Yes, I see you there. Okay. I can fight too. I'm just try out some bombs. This item is really effective. Yeah, it is. There. Nice. <laughs> Yay, Carnary gained a level. I think I'm stronger and taller. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. What is that thing? That thing looks kind of fierce. I should attack it. Whoa. Shouldn't be too bad. Um I was like, I didn't get to bop it. A little defensive. Uh Go with a regular attack for now. Uh, Master Team is more than stations, gives attack and increased defense. Or we can do that. This, please. Let's try it. So, this is the thing before that little. I was supposed to kill for a memory thingy. Oh, she missed. That is highly unfortunate. We're actually going to go on the offensive. Oh, we're no, we're not going to go on the offensive. Because our moves, it's still way faster than us. Um, actually, you have bombs. Bomb. Oh wow, that hit a little great. Did that hurt it or heal it? Did that did I heal it? I can't tell if I healed it or not. I don't think I did. Let's try it again. I think it might have been blue dots just to show that it was cold. Don't blame me for whatever happens. Here yeah, it says minus. Two are better than one. Can you keep up? Nice. Time to attack with items. Yay! We won! Yes, we did. I feel stronger. I can apply this experience to the future. Ooh. Wow. Fancy fur. And that still worked for a large memory boost. Okay. Boop. And then there's this. <laughs> Dang it, Blue Poony. You know what? I, I don't think I'm going to feel bad for Poonies anymore. Because it's their own fault. He rolled into me. You know, he, he saw that I defeated the giant monster thing. And he decided, you know what? I want to fight that too. 
like a little doofus. So, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to feel bad. I'm just not. Oh, that's a plant thing. I don't want to have anything to deal with you. I should just maybe I should just bop more poonies. Don't let your guard down. We'll get through this. more money for everyone I beat up, after all. <laughs> Holy crud. Still got more slots left, huh? You know, I didn't actually really take a good look when I threw that. I just kind of threw it. Hey, you're throwing a uni bag. Everybody attack. Good. Let's just do this. Interesting. Here I go. They hardly put up a fight. Agreed. Okay. Hey. They don't look very strong. Wide open. You know they're weak when Sophie can bop it in, in one hit. Yeah, I just want to see what that looks like. And now that looks like. And we'll do that, sure. I'm leaving soon. I'm going to get back to the edge of there soon anyway. ton of these, too. I have so many puny balls. From so many punies. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the Atelier. And then I think I, I actually need to call this an episode. I think it's been about an hour at that point. Julio. Sir Julio, what is it? There's something I wanted to try out in battle. Try out? That's right. Ooh. From now on, you can use multi-support without consuming the chain link. Uh, yes. Yes, I would. Special support is the most powerful support action, usable when three or more allies are in the same stance. When three or more allies complete their actions in the same stance and fulfill the conditions, it will activate. Fulfilling the offense stance conditions activates a powerful chain attack, special attack. Fulfilling the defense stance conditions activate a powerful cooperative guard, special guard. Each support, special support ability is extremely powerful. However, in exchange, it consumes a large amount of the chain link gauge. It may be wise at times to keep allies in different stances until the right time comes to use it. Fair enough. I was thinking about this. What do you think? Making us more powerful for little little extra work? Sure, I'll take it. I think it's great. If we all work together, we'd be able to face even stronger monsters. That's good. 
Then maybe we should test it the next time we encounter monsters. Yes! I did my best to refill them. Thank you. And and if it's that cheap, then honestly, I mean, I'll make the money. All right, time to save the game. Call it an episode. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye, guys.